if you want, I can show you a free Fermi lattice model, which I where I get a one single chiral Fermi. Not a model, not a, not, not a model behaves exactly like a chiral Fermi at, at, the, at the low energy, but at the high energy, there's no U1 symmetry. No one that there's a emergent U1 symmetry. But that U1 symmetry cannot be gauged. Okay? You have no energy global. Global U1, but you cannot gauge it. Because gauging a symmetry means that a symmetry must exist in UB. There's no sense of gauging a emergent symmetry. No, 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 no. Emergent gauge field also gauge the symmetry at the UV. That's also the gauge gauge transformation is also defined in the UV, even for emergent gauge field. Like emergent gauge field, like a spin liquid, the gauge constraint and the gauge transformation is still defined on lattice. If the if the U1 symmetry if the U1 symmetry presides in the UV, then low energy you will see an no, anomalous U1. That I don't know. I I I don't know what U1 R is. <laughs> I don't well, know what U1. But I'm saying that if a system in the UV has an exact symmetry, then at the low energy also have exact symmetry. But sometimes the symmetry at the low energy can be larger than that symmetry. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm trying to uh, start from here. I'm trying to show you that uh, with interaction, we can just uh, go from, from this side to this side without closing the gap. Okay, so uh, we can first, uh, we just follow what the Sento's uh, logic was. Well, first uh, condense uh, all the parameter, which gap out the fermion. Then we restore all the symmetry by condensing the defect of the order parameter. Let's just uh, choose this, uh, choose this uh, O4 order parameter. It's a four component vector. The four component vector is uh, well, as it is, as it is by half, by half representation. So uh, this uh, O4 vector will gap out all the fermions, but it breaks the SU2 cross SU2, but does not break SU4. Okay, does not break SU4. Okay, so uh, we can just uh, try to, you know, uh, condense the O4 in uh, O4 monopole because actually in in four four dimensional space. Sorry, in four dimensional space in the bulk. Uh, O4 vector has a head of a monopole kind of a defect. Okay? So we can always condense this head of a monopole to restore all the symmetry. However, there's a catch, which is that the head of a monopole itself may close the gap when I tune M. Okay, is that clear? In the whole phase diagram, I can always condense the head of a monopole. Okay, I can always condense the head of a monopole to restore all the symmetry. But whether I can connect this side to this side without closing gap de uh, depends on whether the monopole spectrum will close gap or not when I tune M. If when I tune M, the monopole core does, not, does never close the gap, it continues to evolve from this side to this side, then I can always condense the monopole to, uh, de to generate a, a curve connecting from trivial to polarity spectrum. Okay, so it turns out that uh, because the monopole does not break in the SU4 symmetry, the monopole core state can be labeled by SU4 transformation. It turns out in this system, the monopole core has a full complex Fermat mode, and uh, they form a fundamental representation of SU4. So without any interaction, th this is the only term I can write down as the monopole core. It's a density term without, a, without interaction. It is the only term. And this is the only term pre preserving the SU4 symmetry. 
Okay, then you can see that uh, without interaction in this term, when m equals zero, this term will close the gap. Okay, this means that if I don't turn on any interaction in monomer four, when I condense the monopole, I would go through a phase transition, which precisely corresponds to this phase transition. However, as long as I turn on an interaction, the monopole core spectrum will change like this. And this is the ground state. This is the excited state. So the monopole core spectrum will never close gap anymore. Okay, so always remains as a singlet gapped boson spectrum, a boson state monopole. So in this case, I can just uh, condense the monopole to restore all the symmetry while preserving the gap spectrum in this entire system. I can connect from this side to this side. This side to this side. Without closing any gap. This means that uh, under interaction, the original topological superconduct I assumed actually will become trivial. Okay, this is the goal I want to achieve okay, in the first place. Okay. Okay, so uh, this term, interaction term, breaks the chiral U1 symmetry that Zheng Chen was worried about. Okay, as I said, as I emphasized again and again, to make the whole thing work, that chiral U1 symmetry must be broken. Okay, otherwise, I, can, I, I, mean, I cannot get a chiral from at all. So this term is a full fermion creation annihilation, it breaks that uh, chiral U1 symmetry. So chiral U1 symmetry is, break, is broken by this term. However, we also know that uh, for a weak four form interaction, four form interaction is irrelevant. Okay, it's irrelevant for the three plus one of the Dirac fermion. So this means that uh, this U1 symmetry breaking process will be unobservable at the low energy. Okay, very, very, we give you very, very so high energy. That's a chiral U1. That's that's not that's not uh, that's not the uh, charge U1. Yeah. So what what is that? Is that uh, just a yeah, it, it's something like that. It's so, so, so this U1 is like a bion, bion number, bion plus lepton. Yeah, bion plus lepton. Bion plus. Yeah, something like that. So, but that's everything. That's a no, no, it's, it's really, it's, it's really oh, all the... So, the total fermion okay. Yeah, it's, it's a total, it's a total... total no, 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 no. It's the, it's the, you know, so if I do not do the particle hole transformation, it's the total left-handed fermion minus the total right-handed fermion. That's that U1. That's the anomalous U1. But physically, what kind of global symmetry are you talking about? I mean, in the, in the, it, in the it, standard there, model. There's no such global you want to standard model. Yeah, so that, that's what I thought. Uh, but, but, but standard model, I think the total. Uh, yeah, there's the one you want to symmetry. Number minus is conserved. B minus L, L, B minus L is conserved. Huh? Yeah. B, B minus L, L is conserved. Oh, this term L. preserves B minus L. This term preserves B but minus. So local UN symmetry is that B minus L or not? No, no, it's not. It's not. B minus L is not anomalous. It's not right. B minus L U is not anomalous. Oh, so, so this is just a simply just a B or simply L. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, B and L separate their anomalous. Okay. But B minus L is not anomalous. Yeah. So this term preserves all the nice symmetry of standard model, but it breaks the unwanted anomalous you want. So this is actually very nice. So there's a question about whether in you know, some models we have a, a term which is a violent B. Maybe in the one unified. Anomaly will make B non-conserved. Maybe it's an anomaly. Yeah. Anomaly makes B unconserved. But B minus L is the unconserved conserved term. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So 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 this term, as I said, this term preserves all the symmetry we, we are supposed to preserve in standard model, but breaks the unwanted anomalous uh, symmetry. Okay, and this term, if I expand in terms of a physical fermion, this term contains some terms like this. It's a standard uh, you know, quark and lepton term. Okay, so this term actually will, will lead to proton decay in a standard way. Okay, proton decay term. Okay, but uh, the cutoff lambda here. Uh, it's supposed to be lattice scale, so it's supposed to be larger than whatever dust scale you know, of the grand unified theory. So this term is supposed to be smaller, okay, smaller than the, than the SU5 predicted uh, proton decay rate. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the end of story. So actually, uh, of course, so far in my talk, I only showed you the ideas. I okay, only showed you how to use the monomer condensate idea to, to, to show this works. But uh, if you want to see the uh, explicit lattice Hamiltonian that will be right down to implement the idea. You can you can read our paper. Okay, there's a 
the Hamiltonian happens to be a little bit more complicated. Okay? The idea is simple with the Hamiltonian complicated, but I don't want to show you the Hamiltonian. But you, can, you can read them if you want. Okay, yeah, okay. okay I think I'm over time. So uh, yeah, let's stop here. So maybe we take a, a couple of quick questions and take the rest to the break. So the four fermion term plays a role to get all the time interactions. So yeah, that's a part of the interaction. Sorry, say again. Those four fermion counter interactions, those are right in between. No, they are they are they are, they are no they are the left hand and, and also right hand. They're how, both there. How do you see that it only gets out the uh, the blank divide that is right there? Sorry, say again. You say it only gets out oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, what I'm saying is that, uh, yeah, here, the top surface is all left-handed. The bottom surface is all right-handed. Mm -hmm. I, I turn on that interaction, but I make it stronger here and weaker here. Right? When it's weaker, that term will be irrelevant. You know, you don't see any, any, any effect at all. Right? But when it's stronger here, it's going to gap it up. That's what, that's what I'm saying. So did you improve in this by just writing the four from your company equation for the writing detectors? Uh, actually, the more complex Actually, I also want to condense the monopole, so I have some term which actually uh, take care of the dynamics of the monopole. So actually, it's going to be four Fermi term plus a monopole term. You know, it's, it's, it's not that that simple. But everything is local. So local term, local Any more questions? Yeah. Uh, so you for the <laughs> and let's come back at eleven thirty.